got a walk-in cooler here that uh, had been freezing up the coil. And uh, it's been about a week since it's happened. They uh, turned it up, thawed it out. So we just got here, plucking it over. So far, the sight glass seems to be full, but you can really feel some massive heat out of it. So I'm gonna probably go ahead and clean this coil off. It's looking a little bit, a little bit dirty, not bad. But just looking at the sight glass, I'm kind of curious once, uh, once it's clean, if that'll give me any issues. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean that out as just precautionary. Um, we're going on the inside here. So basically, it's just uh, multiple compartments here. You got a cooler over there with a couple different evaporators, and you got this one over here. This one here, the thermostat was kind of stuck back behind the boxes, which I'm kind of wondering. So I'm wondering by chance if it wasn't getting the temperature sensing back behind all those boxes of tea there. If that was an issue, you can see where the white thing's at. So I'm thinking about strapping it to the drain line, bring it up, mount it up here, see if that helps out a little bit. Coil is clean, um, you know. Basically, just kind of got to check the defrost clock yet, but that's kind of my rationale right now. What we're going to do is just kind of check some of those things out. So, we've got our clock marked right there. We'll see how that goes. I had uh, replaced the contactor back in uh, 2017, and it's an R22 unit. You can see the sight glass is full. Not that that would cause us to freeze up, but it's just something I always like to look at. Okay, so here we are doing the old water down the condenser trick. And what's our sight glass doing? Looks to me like it's uh, basically flashing off. Now granted, it may be just a head pressure control adjusting, but do it for a while here and see if that clears up. That's definitely not a great sign. And I wouldn't figure that, you know, a little bit low on charge would cause it unless it's not getting the temperature. I suppose it could. It's got four defrosts, so basically it should be able to melt the ice off, so it's kind of between that and, you know, it's back to that detective work. Know, what, what all do we got going on here that we know about? We got coil that's a little bit, a uh, little dirty, not horrible. We got a clock that could be acting up. We got refrigerant issues, you know, multiple different things. So it's just a matter of working our way through it and kind of figuring out uh, which one's the culprit. What I'm seeing there looks like it's tracking time okay. We got four defrosts for 55 minutes a piece, which is usually more than adequate. It's a timed off defrost. Got that water off of it, and she's kind of coming back to being full, but still makes me think it's probably low on refrigerant. So, I'm gonna go ahead and finish washing it out with the fans off. I didn't want to get a bunch of water in the motors. There ain't nothing that brings joy to my heart than it water hose that's easily within reach and has good pressure behind it. So, go ahead, got it all washed out, got good clean clear water, went forward, backwards, take it back out of her happy time here, see what we get going on. last time didn't find anything it's so tiny so like we said you know they've had this off for a little while so there's what it is you know away from the wall let's just say it was buried back in here like the uh, like it was a little bit ago yeah 
Yeah, that's very annoying. Sorry. So it definitely brings it up a couple degrees, about three, maybe a touch more. So. I'm not going to say that's what's going to cause it, but possibly be a mix between all these things that combined. Yeah, that's not working out real well either. It's recirculating back onto it pretty quickly. Thought about mounting right over there. See what it would be if we put it over here. One thing bad about mounted on this is it goes right outside and then you have heat potentially coming through causing it to short cycle. So about 39 there. May not be all bad. Thing is, it's been like this for a long time, so I doubt that's exactly what it's causing it. So we're about 38 there. Let's see what we get on this. Seems like it's fairly accurate to me. So, heck, you could technically put it up here on the ceiling, let it hang down from that. Might be what I end up doing. If you want to mute something like that, you put a little piece of tape over top of the speaker, and it mutes it right down. So that'll make it a little nice. Just don't forget to take that thing off. So we have about a 10 degree drop across the coil, which is pretty good. Like I said, you can see the air like I said, you can see through the coil pretty easily. Um, there you go. You can see it through the coil pretty good right there. Same thing with right there, you can see through it. So, yeah. And everything for the most part seems like it's working fairly well. We're going to head and remounted that bulb up here. Got it so that the stem's at the top, so the refrigerant's all at the bottom of the bulb. Hanging it down a little bit so we're a couple inches off of it. Plus, if you figure the air will move in a pattern, so I'm not trying to be completely in there. It's got to be better than being back behind the uh, cans here. All right, so we went ahead and just replaced the clock because I couldn't find anything else wrong. And it's been uh, since 13 that it's been replaced, and I almost forgot how easy it is to turn these. Usually, it uh, it's I mean right there is kind of and it finally goes compared to this one here where it easily boom and it turns right over so we're gonna go ahead and change the clock my feeling is it's holding temperature if it wasn't defrosting it'd be about the only way you could do it and I spoke with the other guy that was out here and it's been almost two weeks or better since he was here so if it was just a thermostat it should have melted it off if the defrost clock is working right. So it's going to be kind of a mixture of a, of a uh, educated guess, unfortunately. I mean, back to blues clues here, man. Just uh, figuring out what are we missing? What are we not seeing? And then asking the manager as many questions as possible, which, like I said, she kind of told me exactly how thick it was, which was about a half an inch. Um, you know, and it took them all day for it to melt off. So it's... Uh, that's just kind of the most likely thing. And then as far as the refrigerant charge, we're going to look at that. When we come back and do our PM in the fall, we can always do it then. So let's look at it just starting out. It's actually flashing right now. Might go ahead and just add some now. Now that it's doing that. May give it a minute. I don't like that though. It should be full. There went full, finally. 